In this video, I will show you how you can automate your invoicing system in Excel. You can save this invoice as a PDF and a workbook with just a single click button. Your PDF has been saved. You can record a summary of your invoice on a separate sheet. Invoice recorded. You can see it, it is saved here with a link to your PDF invoice file. You can also edit your previous invoices if you miss something. Enter the invoice number. First, we have an invoice sheet here. We need to convert this into a PDF with a custom file name and custom file location. For that, go to your VBA code, insert a new module, enter your code here. You can find all your codes in the link in description. This code is very simple to read. Each and every line has been narrated. I will show you only the important parts here. First, you will specify the cell of invoice number here, which is G4 in this case. G4. Then you will specify the customer name cell, which is B3. B3. The next line constructs the file name of your PDF, which would be invoice number, dash, and customer name. Next is the file location. Let me show you how you can enter this. Suppose this is a folder where you want to save your invoices in PDF. Right click, go to properties, copy this location. Enter it here in the inverted commas. Add a backslash. Now, enter the last name of the folder which is invoice record. After that, enter a backslash. Now your file path has been constructed. Let's try it out. We will insert a new button here. Save as PDF. Let me rename it. You can go to the print settings to adjust your sheet. This will also apply to the PDF. Let's try it out dialog box will appear that your file has been saved successfully. Let's check it out. Here you can see it is saved. Next is you want to save a summary of this invoice on a separate sheet. I have created one here. Here you can get the invoice number, the date, customer and everything else. Here you will find the link to your PDF file which we will enter later. For that, go to your VBA code, insert a new module, enter your code. I will show you only the important parts here. First, in this line here, you will enter the name of the sheet where you want to save the history, which is invoice history in my case. Next is in this line, you will write the name of the table where you want to save the uh, summary of the invoice, which is I have named it as history. You can see this here. This is history. Next is you will again specify the invoice number, the invoice date, like we did before. Invoice number is in G4, G4, and all the rest of this. You have customer name, the amount, and the due date. Now, if you go down here, here you will specify which cells to fill in the summary sheet. For example, the cell number one, which is invoice number, we will say it is equal to invoice number. Then, cell two, which is date, which is equal to invoice date. These we have specified already above here. Similarly, in the range 6, we have the link to the PDF file. 
Now let's construct the path to that PDF file. Here you will enter the file address where your PDF file has been saved like we did before. The same address will be here too. So this line will add a hyperlink to that PDF. Now let's close it. We'll insert a new button. Let's try it out. Dialog box will appear that your invoice has been recorded. Let's check it out. Here you can see you have your invoice number, the date and everything else saved. Here you have the hyperlink to your PDF file. This will open the PDF invoice. Next is you want to edit some of your previous invoice. For that we will also have to save our invoice as a separate Excel workbook. So let's enter a new code. Enter your code here. So for Excel invoices I am creating here a new folder. Sort of a dummy folder for Excel invoices. We can say it Excel record. Here we will save all our Excel invoices. We have the code here. Here you will specify the invoice number only. Here you will specify the path where you want to save your invoices in Excel form. Like we did before, you can copy the address here. One more thing the Excel invoice will be saved with the name invoice number only. For example, 12345 only for keeping things simple. So let's try it out. You can see the invoice has been recorded as a separate Excel workbook. Next is we want to, let's say we want to edit our invoice number 12345. So we will have to open it here and edit everything. So for that we will add a new code. We have a code here. Let me explain only the important things here. So here you will enter the file path where your invoices are saved in excel form. So we have the folder excel record here. Then if you go down here, what this code will do is open that invoice and copy its first sheet to our existing sheet here. So you can go edit anything. Let's try it out. A dialog box will appear. It will ask you to enter your invoice number. We have our invoice number as 12345. Okay. So our invoice has been opened here. You can see our invoice 12345 in our existing sheet. Now you can edit it as you want. For example, let's say this was 1000 which you incorrectly wrote as 100. So let's edit it. Now we will save it as a PDF again and this will override the previous PDF file. You can see our invoice has been updated. Next we will record the invoice summary here. A dialog box will appear that your invoice number already exists. Do you want to override this data? So yes. Invoice recorded. Let's see. Your invoice has been updated. Now let's make a new invoice. Let's save our invoice as PDF first. Invoice saved as PDF. Let's check it out. Here you can see invoice has been recorded. Let's record our invoice summary. Invoice has been recorded. Here you can see it. You can also save it as a separate workbook. So now instead of having two separate buttons for saving it as PDF, saving it as workbook, we can have only one. So go to our code module. So what this macro will do is call the first macro that is save as PDF. So we have it as called save as PDF. 
then it will activate the second macro as well which is save sheet as workbook this is the macro name so let's close it let's insert a new button let's delete our old buttons so let's create a new invoice and this single button will save your invoice as a pdf and a workbook as well this is our invoice and this is our excel file hope you liked the video